This is a comparison of text selection between iOS 13 and iOS 12. This is an iOS 13 device and what I'm going to do is select the word of in that first sentence there of the Wikipedia article. So my finger comes in and I go to long press on it. Okay, but I actually missed. Let's do it again. Okay, I think I got it that time. Okay, I did. Now let's look at the same thing on an iOS 12 device. So here's my iPhone. And again, the same web page. I come in and I can immediately know I'm on the right word and I can let go. So what was different about those two cases? Well, iOS 13 on the left, iOS 12 on the right. It's the magnifying loop, which gives me the confidence to know I've actually selected the right thing. I don't know on iOS 13 what I've selected until my finger comes away, especially in cases where what I'm trying to select is actually smaller than the pad of my finger. The lack of magnifying loop on iOS 13, which has been a staple of iOS since the very first version, is really annoying. And I'm actually going to go through a few more cases here where no magnifying makes the process intricate and difficult to do. This is iOS 13. Let's try and select the paragraph. Uh, oh, well, I can't actually select the start of the paragraph very easily because my finger's covering those first few characters. I get there eventually, but it's a pain. On iOS 12, it's much more fluid. The magnifying loop gives me that extra help so I know I'm in the right place, and if my finger actually jolts down, I can know to move it slight back up again to get and select the right thing. iOS 12 actually even has an additional subtlety beyond the loop. It's subtle, but you can see it there. The lollipop actually flew past where I let go. And so there, where I would have missed, it actually completed and slipped the whole paragraph. And this is a subtlety that simply doesn't exist on iOS 13 at all. Okay, let's look at some different text now. So we'll scroll down a bit. And here, what we're going to do is select the word not. So this is the middle of the page. My finger comes over. A long press. I think I've got it. Okay, I did reach it, but I didn't know until my finger was released from the screen. And so now let's extend the selection to the end of the sentence. Going down, it's a bit finicky because my finger's covering the end of the word. It's actually worse in real life than on the camera because of the slightly different perspective. But if you think it's bad going down, it's actually worse going upwards because then your finger really is covering the entirety of the lollipop. So there, I'm trying to select the start of the sentence, but I have to like jiggy my finger back down again to be able to just about tell that I've done it. Magnifying loops aren't some kind of revolution, but they are really helpful. Let's look at that same interaction on iOS 12. My finger comes in, long press. I can see I'm on the right word. I can let go. And the magnifying loop comes back for text selection as well. So we go down. I can see that I'm in the right place. I can make sure I'm in the end of the period. And similarly, going back upwards, I don't have to move my finger around. I can just go straight there. I can see the word and release my hand. Again, let's look at that same interaction side by side. Here it is with iOS 13 on the left, iOS 12 on the right. The 12 experience is just so much more fluid. I'm just more confident in my movement of my finger. I just have to be a lot more precise than I really should be on iOS 13. And here I have to you know, drag my finger back down again just to be able to see the word, but then that pops me onto the successive lines so I'm actually in the wrong place. The iOS 12 experience is so much cleaner. Now, one thing that iOS 13 does have over its predecessor is the ability you just long press on a paragraph and drag and it immediately selects it. This is something that iOS 12 simply couldn't do. So that's great and all, but this convenience isn't universal. Here's the email app and that same drag select just doesn't work. What's happening in this case is the presentation of the keyboard actually cancels the rest of the drag out. So for what it's worth, it's still not available across the system. And for instance, the email app, you still have to revert to what you'd have to do on iOS 12, where you select one word and then you drag out to select the rest of it. Finally, let's look at a single height text field. This is the URL field. There's the cursor. I'll drag the cursor all the way to the right. And then we tap on it to select that last word. And we're going to extend the selection to the L and the E of the previous word as well. But I mean, just look at this. I can't see what I'm doing. My finger just covers the entire bar. I have to like pull my finger downwards to be able to glimpse it. Uh, okay, I'm there. Right, okay. And I'm done. Here's iOS 12. I drag and I can immediately see, thanks to the magnification, where the cursor's landing. And I'm done.
the addition of the magnifying loop it isn't some crazy innovation it's in fact what we've had for the last decade but it's just really handy and i hope apple brings it back 